Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. Welcome to another computer upgrade video. This time it is Dell T5810 workstation computer. So without further ado, let's get to it. So, so whenever you try to build a gaming computer on a budget, the best way to do it or the best formula is to just get an office PC and slap a GPU in there. So that's the best way to do it. But what if there's a better way? So uh, the better way is to instead of getting an office computer, get a workstation computer like the one this uh, Dell T5810 here. Because, uh, I mean, these days, these workstation computers have the robust build quality and like uh, they were designed to run uh, all day long without like stopping, without turning on, turning off like they have the best engineering com components and you know they can last for a while and uh, and when these computers were sold they were sold for like three thousand dollars five thousand dollars now you can literally buy them off for a hundred dollars to 150 dollars so this is a great buy right now so if you're trying to build a gaming pc for cheap so instead of going in for an office computer go for uh like a workstation computer and like I said, it's it's cost the same as the as much as Office PC, and but they are way more powerful than an Office PC. And and another reason to buy because uh, and you can also they take the Xeon CPUs, and right now you can get like the Xeon CPUs like fourteen core, twelve core, ten core for ten fifteen dollars. So this is a huge huge upgrade. Uh, so. And but whenever you buy this computer, there are so many versions, so you have to look for the perfect version. Like these uh, computers comes with either uh, 425 watt power supply or 685 watt or 825 watt. So you want to look for that is at least uh, 685 watt power supply in it. So that way you can uh, do a GPU, do a GPU upgrade, and uh, and you will still and you want to get. Uh, one with the, that comes with the Windows 10 Pro. So it, they normally have a sticker at the back that says it comes with Windows 10 Pro. So what happens in this case, like uh, the Windows 10 key is already attached to the computer's hardware. So all you got to do, just install Windows on it without the key and it will auto be automatically activated when you're online. So you don't have to pay for uh, extra key. So these are the two things to look for. Look for buy one that comes with the windows 10 pro for workstation and buy one that's comes with at least 685 watt power supply and the cpu upgrade this is the one that i'm using uh there are a whole bunch of cpus so these uh, computers when they come with they come with v3 cpus uh xeon v3 but they can um actually take the v4 uh, cpus and these v4 cpus are a lot better and a lot faster and now i can literally get them for 10 15 dollars i got one for 2660 for 10 dollars and a 2680 uh, for like a mm, 2680 for ten dollar yeah 2680 for fifteen dollars and i got a 2650 for like four dollar fifty cents so so you can get this uh, v4 cheap cpu for really good really cheap price and they're almost as powerful as the ryzen 7 5800 so it's a very good buy so you can getting like almost two hundred dollar worth of value for ten fifteen dollars so has a very good upgrade. Uh, so get a, a Xeon V4 CPU uh, and for the RAM upgrade. So whenever you're buying this tower, you should already have some RAM on it. Um, no need to upgrade too much RAM. 16 GB should be enough, but you want to like it has like it supports up to 256 GB RAM. So lots of RAM. If, get 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 these RAMs if you need it. Uh, if you're just using it for gaming, you don't need so much RAM just for fun i added like 48 gigs of ram uh but make sure you get this like uh ram with the 2400 megahertz you can either get a samsung or sk hynix uh they both work fine uh so the thing is like uh when you add the v4 cpu uh it would be able to run these rams at 2400 megahertz so but v3 cpus can't run that that fast so, so that's another reason for getting a V4 CPU. 
and uh, you can get it, uh, get these RAMs off of eBay for very cheap. Now, normally, the server RAMs are cheaper uh, than the regular desktop RAM because not ev every computer can take server RAM. Um, so that's about uh, the RAM upgrade. And before you can add a GPU in your uh, case, you need to do a little bit of modification. See, this uh, this thing has this like a uh, little bar uh, to push the GPUs. I mean, to uh, push the GPU so they stay still, so they, they don't move around. So, but uh, newer, beefier GPUs on fit if you have this little thing here. So you have to take out that screw and you know, there are little rivets up here on the side. So you wanna take a smaller, like a drill bits, like 516, I believe, and you wanna keep drilling out gently, then it will come out. Don't drill out all the way, then you will punch a hole in there. So just keep drilling out carefully, and you would be able to take them out, and it's gonna look like this. And afterwards, you would be able to uh, fit a GPU in there. And to get a GPU, you need a GPU cable. So I, you can get these GPU cables for EVGA modeler uh, PSC, PS, PCIe cable. Um, just search for with these keywords, EVGA modeler PS, PCIe cable. And you can get one for, you know, five to six dollars or seven to eight dollars. I, I got a whole bunch of them, like, because I had a whole bunch of these computers. So I bought like four. Uh, and as you can see, the price come out around five dollars a piece. So very good buy, and uh, that way you can add a GPU in there. And the GPU cable location. So this is located right here, where the uh, right next to the power supply. So it has a little cover, this plastic cover. There's a little notch in, in here. So you want to push that notch, and then you can take it out. And there's your, um, and now it, your uh, power supply connectors would be exposed. See that black, uh, black connector right here? That's the eight-pin PCIe. So you're gonna take one of these cable. You're gonna take one of these cable here, and you're gonna plug uh, the one end of it uh, right here, and the other two ends you can plug into your uh, graphics card. Okay, and when you are doing a GPU upgrade, uh, this it's, even though this is a large case, there's not a whole lot of a place for it. So I would not go any more than 10 inches. So this is about like, a, this is a 1070 uh, Ti from Asus, uh, Asus Cerebrus. Uh, and uh, this thing about 10 inches long, about, about three slot uh, width. So uh, I was able to barely fit this GPU. So be careful uh, not to put uh, too long of a GPU. Get like a double fan, 10 inches long GPU, and you should be able to fit them. And for storage upgrade, so this computer, you can uh, go with the traditional 2.5 SSD, but you can also take advantage of uh, NVMe SSD because this computer has actually not one, not two, actually four PCIe, um, PCI Express slots. And uh, some of them are like uh, supports up to 225 watt and some of them support like tw just 25 watt. So you wanna plug in, um, you wanna get in a PCI Express NVMe adapter from eBay. You can get one for very cheap, like you see like $3 or like, so or sometimes it's seven, eight dollars. So you can you can get one of these uh, PCI Express adapter, and then you can plug in a uh, NVMe in it, and that way you would be able to uh, install a NVMe drive in this old computer. These computers were not too old; they were like around uh, they were uh, built around 2015 to 2016. And uh, get a standard size, okay? Get a standard size 2080 NVMe. Uh, get a name brand one. I got one that from Western Digital, and it performed great. And to my surprise, even with the adapter, it performs just as good as if you had a, like a dedicated port for it. So it's worth to do a NVMe upgrade just just with the little um, PCI Express adapter. You can take advantage of it. And for Windows installation, like once you uh, install your NVMe in there, just uh, make sure you convert that 
to GPT partition before you do anything uh, because uh, only in GPT partition you can uh, install uh, in UF, UEFI mode and UEFI is faster boot uh, and before if you already had if you get a computer that already have Windows in it you can clone that uh, installation to your new drive so that way just it's just plug and play um, but if it, if the Windows was in legacy mode then you have to reinstall it to get a, like a UEFI support and that's how the internal looks like after the upgrade. So you can see I was barely able to fit a GPU in there. And there is the fun part about this computer. There is no screw. Everything is like a, like a little tap and it's like screws on. Uh, this is my NVMe adapter. This is a capture card. You don't need this. I'm using this computer as a like a recording PC. So that's why I had a capture card. And you can also install two hard drives or two SSG drive in it. So lots of options. Uh, and this is the performance result after after I installed everything. Uh, this is the performance that you can expect to get. Now uh, 1440p is the standard right now. And uh, with 1440p, I was able to get the score of 6,890. Look at the CPU score. This is an amazing CPU score. Even the Ryzen 7 um, has like a score of like around 10,000. Now uh, I'm getting almost the same with a, like only $15 CPU. And the graphics score is like 6,656. But if you're willing to turn down your uh, resolution to 1080p instead of 1440p, you can essentially double the score. Right here, this, this was run on 1080p and I... You see, I got a score for 10,357. So much better score if you play in 1080p. And this is the Nova Bench score. Uh, this is another uh, benchmarking software where you can see the performance of all the components. As you can see, CPU is doing almost 2,000. GPU is doing 3,376. Memory score is 322 with 48 gig of DDR4 memory. And storage score is 267. So this is the same storage score as you if you would have had a, like a dedicated NVMe uh, slot. So this NVMe adapter is doing a really good job. And uh, uh, so... You might be saying oh, all this performance score looks uh, pretty good on paper and on benchmarking software, but how is the actual performance in the games? So I was able to test this uh, computer or test this build on a, on two games. Uh, one of them is a Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, and I was able to get 100 and 100 to 120 FPS. And in Siberia, the walls before, I was able to get around 60 to 75 FPS. But to get these FPS, you have to turn down your uh, settings a little. Make sure you must have the AMD FSR on to performance. And you must have the ray tracing off. If you turn the ray tracing on, your FPS will drop down like crazy. Like when I had the ray tracing on, I was getting only 40 to 45 FPS instead of the 100 FPS. So don't turn on ray tracing because, you know, this graphics card is kind of old and uh, must uh, turn on the MD FSR to performance. So that will give you a whole bunch of performance boost. Uh, and the total expense summary for this tower, uh, you can get these towers for $100 to $120 from eBay. There's a whole bunch of them available. And uh, they usually come with some RAMs, like, uh, you, but if you, like, you want some more extra RAM, you can get for like around $15 to $20, but it's not necessary. But this is really necessary. You must upgrade your CPU to get the most benefit out of it. I upgraded uh, this computer CPU with 2680 V4. With the, this is a 14 core CPU, 14 core 28 thread CPU for $15. So this is incredible. This is unbelievable. And I was able to get another NVMe SSD for $50. I know the SSD price has gone up a little bit. Uh, and I got an NVMe adapter for $8. Uh, the graphics 1070 Ti I got from Facebook Marketplace from around $100. Uh, 
and I got a GPU cable for seven dollars. So my total expense come down to even three hundred. So that's an amazing computer for three hundred dollars uh, that can uh, play modern games. So that's all the information I'm putting out there. So if you have any questions, so if you are trying to build this computer and you need help, uh, uh, try to put a comment uh, in the comment section I'll, and I will try my best to answer those questions. Uh, and that's it for today. You guys have a good day.